This video is investigating the growth of leaf yeast using agar plates and its revision of that practical connected with the chapter on fungi. Some important details to consider with this practical, the first of which is what type of leaf should you use? Well, the leaves from the ash tree we found to be particularly good. Make sure that you pick them freshly, ideally that morning, and you transport them carefully in, for example, a plastic container like a lunchbox. Make sure you consider the time of the year. May onwards is best. For this practical to be successful, aseptic technique is crucial. This means doing everything possible to avoid introducing other microorganisms onto the plate. Remember, you only want to grow leaf yeasts. So we ensured that we followed good aseptic technique. We cleaned all work surfaces with disinfectant before we began. We wore gloves throughout. We bought in our sterile mulled agar dishes already made up. We flamed all instruments before we used them and in the blue flame of the Bunsen and we avoided opening the Petri dish fully. The whole point of this practical is to grow leaf yeast onto malt agar in the Petri dishes. We're going to prove that there is yeast on the undersurface of the leaves so the undersurface of the leaf must be projecting downwards onto the malt agar. So using aseptic technique, the whole leaf or a section of a leaf, depending on which you're using, is attached with the undersurface projecting downwards onto the malt agar using Vaseline and a flamed forceps. The control in this practical is just the Petri dish, the malt agar sterile Petri dish, but with no leaves. So when you've prepared your plates, those with leaves and those with no leaves, secure the lids with parafilm and incubate at 25 degrees Celsius for five days. So the plates have to be incubated for five days and after the first 24 hours they're turned upside down so that the mulled agar is on the top this time and this is to prevent the build-up of any condensation which might otherwise destroy these growing yeast colonies. After five days it's time for the results. On those plates with the leaves there were indeed pink leaf yeast colonies and they were very distinctively pink. On the control, those plates with no leaves, there was no growth, no pink colonies, nothing growing. When you compare your plates with those of your colleagues in the lab, you'll notice that some plates or some samples have a lot more pink yeast growing on them than others, and it's really dependent on where the leaves were picked. Those leaves that were picked in areas of good air quality will produce more pink yeast colonies compared to those that were picked in very polluted or poor air quality regions. When the practical is done, it's really important that you dispose of the plates properly. In our case, we just soaked them in disinfectant for 24 hours and then threw them in the bin. Interesting question which appeared on a past paper asked, why should this practical be done in May and not March? Well, today is the 18th of March 2018 and in Ireland we have snow on the ground and not many leaves on the trees. This photograph was taken this morning by Alina and Maria, so thank you very much. Please note that I did use icons from the Noun Project. I am a pro member, but I still want to give credit to all of the artists as listed here. Please note, these videos are not made to replace any textbook, nor are they ever meant to replace your teacher's guidance. They are not made for monetary gain, nor are they intended for commercial use. The very best of luck with all of your revision.